you guys welcome back to my channel my name is Ashley if you are new welcome and if you're not new thank you so much for coming back for another video in today's video we are talking about the Pat McGrath Divine Rose 2 palette we're talking about this beautiful palette here yes Mothership 8 oh my gosh so beautiful so we're gonna get into it we're gonna get into two looks um, but we're gonna go into the palette the swatches and uh, some demonstrations for you guys so if you want to see how this palette looks on me then definitely stay tuned <sighs> okay so um, Face has already been done. I am currently trying out two foundations. So on my left side, I have some Tom Ford waterproof concealer or something that I think is being discontinued. <laughs> and then on my right side, I have the uh, Chantecai, um, I don't know, Future Skin, I think is what it's called. And what we're gonna do before we get into the eye looks is I'm going to prime my eyes and put some powder underneath so I can catch any fallout that may occur. And um, if you are curious as to where I have been for the past almost year, <laughs> <laughs> then definitely uh, check out my previous video to this one it was uploaded or it was a live video that I did if you aren't following me on Instagram I would suggest that you do so I have been a little bit more active on Instagram than I have been on my uh, YouTube channel all right so for my primer same old same old primer that I've been using um, the NYX HD studio primer if you hear any noises in the background my baby's laying right there on the bed um so <laughs> fyi there hopefully she lets me get this video recorded without much interruption <laughs> and then if you are all and if you're new to my channel then i do a double prime on my eye so i always put this uh, basic primer down and then I would usually go in with a paint pot, a MAC Prep and Prime paint pot, or this ABH eye primer. I'm gonna use this uh, just because this is what I brought into this filming space with me. So that's why I'm using this. All right, and so it is white, but whoop, I'll just do a little dot and then take some on each eye and blend it out. All right, so, oh, if you wanna see two other looks that I did with this palette, definitely also check out my Instagram because I did, um, you know, two different eye looks when I first got the palette in because I could not wait. So, let's get into these looks. All right, so we have the palette, beautiful packaging, like you guys know to expect from Pat McGrath. And then I was able to pick up the um, limited edition packaging I was on that you know website refreshing ever since you know five minutes before probably even longer than that so um, beautiful beautiful pink metallic packaging here and then our beautiful shades oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness here we go that's a better look at it let me show it up close to you guys and okay that's a good view of it a good view of it beautiful just absolutely stunning Ooh. Ooh. oh my gosh I, mm. okay so i can tell you guys i've since i've already played with it that i do enjoy the palette so far this is just going to be my second time using this palette so i'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and i'm going in with a wayne goss number six brush I just wiped it off and I'm gonna go into the shade Naked Blush. That is this shade. Whoop, not that shade. This nice pink matte shade there. Okay, I'm gonna take that into the transition area. In my, um, you know, and closer to the inner corner, but you know, above the inner corner, as you can see. So I'm taking that all over this transition area and basically kind of covering up any extra area of that um, primer but the main focus of that was right here in this area there and you can see how easily that blends out 
so even though it is a lighter tone it shows up pretty decently on me and I will say that I when I did my eye looks that I did on Instagram that I just used my concealer as a base so it's not only the fact that I use that ABH like white primer it still shows up even if I use concealer as a base all right with my builder pro from Sonia G almost said Sonia Kashuk builder pro Sonia G extreme burgundy taking extreme burgundy you guys already know the drill putting this on my outer corner you guys see that pigmentation Jesus girl look at that mm. oh so pretty and so I've got that laid there I'm gonna take the brush I was using the Wayne Goss number six and just fluff the edges to make sure that's blended and I do see I don't think I'm I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this up tomorrow which is the 12th but this is coming back in stock tomorrow of course it was sold out I don't know if it's the pink packaging though I just know that the palette itself is coming back so it may be in the black if I want a little bit more of a blend I'll just take a little bit more of the naked blush shade and just lay that right on that edge and that blends out quite nicely I just I just always enjoy Pat McGrath palettes because it's like every shade works on my skin tone. It's no no shade that is, there be, might be shades that I'm not as much of a fan of just because I don't like the color of it or I might like, might wish it was a little bit um, like a different um, texture or something like that, but they always show up. It's just, ugh, come on now. All right, so there we go. So we've got that little, little um, base prepared for us to get into some of these sparkles. Okay, so I'm gonna go into, I just can't not go into VR Sextra Terrestrial. I, th I feel like that's kind of like, everyone's gonna be going into that shade, but hey, it's the star of the show, I feel like. Oh, what I did, I just put some glitter glue down. Um, a lot of, you know, her special shades are intended for you to get the most payoff, I think when you use a medium with them like a mixing medium or like a glitter glue something that's really going to catch onto those colors or and onto the sparkle and the glitter and things like that and really adhere and stick um of course a lot of people use these just fine without them but i always always put down a glitter glue so um because i just don't want to i don't want to deal with fallout i don't want to deal with you know things disappearing during the day so I always use that so um I'm gonna go in with this shade here I wonder if you guys yeah you can see the transformation if I change the look or the um the way I'm holding the palette you can see the shade there just changing color so stunning I'm gonna put it all over the lid so I'm just gonna lay this down with my finger you all know that I'm a finger applicator for my metallics for my shades like this so I'm always using my finger it's just so pretty and you when you're looking straight on it's this beautiful pink but then like you can see over here it looks green forgive these three nails okay but the rest of my nails the rest of my nails are done <laughs> um but you can see that it's a little greenish on this side but right where the light is directly hitting me you've got the pink there it's just so pretty and then it just blends over that extreme burgundy so nicely that I don't really have to do much I could just you could just be done it could just be done the eye look here's an eye look okay and I look right there bam for you okay I'm gonna go in with Hmm, I'm gonna go in with something that's gonna really pop on here. Let's see, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this Rose Seduction shade right there. I'm gonna take this and see how it looks kind of on top. I know this isn't a true metallic, it's more like satin. I'm gonna put it on this side here just to add a little bit more pink. Yeah, that's pretty. 
so we've got a little bit more pink right on the edge that just makes that pink intensity there so you're probably not going to see as much of the, the green portion of the extra terrestrial shade when I change when I turn my head on this side but you'll still see some of it over here all right and that did cover up the VR burgundy a little bit so I'm gonna put a little bit more now for some sparkle I am gonna go in with astral pink moon this is a shade that I have not used in the palette yet and I'm gonna put it right on the center of the lid but kind of towards the top that's pretty oh my i was not expecting that because it has <laughs> this one this shade here it looks like real i don't know it to me it looks a little silverish it looks a lot like that uh shade that's in the um midnight sun palette but it has a champagne look to it and then it i don't know this mixed these two mixed together it just gives it a nice rose gold type of look like oh my gosh wow mm. i wonder if you guys can see how pretty that is because i think it looks stunning oh my gosh Ooh. now that we've done that i'm just gonna take this um pencil brush this is a limelight pencil brush i guess um I'm gonna take it into that astral pink moon. This is a pretty shade. And I'm just gonna put this on the inner corner here. Very pretty. I'm gonna take on my fluffier brush, this um, Wayne Goss number six. I'm gonna put this on the lower lash line. And here you can see how it show, how that um, naked blush shows up, you know, just based like on a concealed area um granted my under eye is set with powder but you can see how the color shows up because i don't have any of that abh primer on my lower lash line and i just really like the look that that gives oh my gosh this is pretty <laughs> mm, okay this pat mcgrath i don't i don't care what nobody says man like it is mm, it's so pretty and it's like what other makeup evokes that type of response it's just like oh gosh and so then you turn your head and i'm turning my head you guys can see how it sh has shifted to that green shade there bruh okay all right so now i'm gonna take with that um same pencil brush i'm gonna go into skin show rose gold pop that a little bit right underneath the brow arch and that is the first look I think I'm done I don't need to do anything extra no more you know that's so pretty you know guys what I wanted to do before I, I forgot that I wanted to do this I wanted to do like a graphic liner look but since I've concealed my or you know put that white primer on it's not gonna work like I wanted to so and then we'll bring it all together, you know, at the end with the mascara, liner, powder dusted away, okay? For our first step for this eye, I'm going to take the Extreme Burgundy all over the lid. All over. All over the lid. So I've got that there. I'm going to go with my fluffy brush, nothing on the brush. Taking a little bit more of that Extreme Burgundy getting it into the crease all right now I'm gonna um, of course I'm gonna use the same brush nothing additional on the brush okay so you can see how that has blended out nicely and this could be a look all on its own just a nice little burgundy smoky eye but of course we don't pay $125 for a palette to use one shade and you know just a dark burgundy but the quality is beautiful okay so next I'm gonna get some glitter glue again and I'm gonna focus this on the inner corner okay so I pressed it first in the inner corner then I just you know take whatever's left and you know do a nice 
pat over towards the middle of the lid, but not all over, okay? Take Eleganza, that's this shade here, right above that, you know, pink rose seduction. So I'm gonna take Eleganza, and I'm gonna focus that on this inner corner, right there, and then gently fade it out, okay? There we go. Very pretty. Bronze Rose 005. Put that on the inner corner with my finger. Take a little bit more and overlap that with Eleganza. So it's like we've got a gradient from Bronze Rose 005 to Eleganza to the Extreme Burgundy. I'm gonna take my pencil brush, get it a little wet with some mixing fluid. Got that damp. I'm gonna take the pink rose seduction. You guys already know this shade there. Got it wet on my brush and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line. Take a little of that naked blush shade and do a little bit of a blend right there just to kind of fade that versus it being like just a harsh, you know, line. Take a little extreme burgundy to give it a little bit more of a transition into the rest of the eye look. And do you know what I want to do now? I think I want to do a liner of that pink up on this line on this lid. Same brush, we'll dampen it, get into that pink, and then use it as a liner at the top. Mm -mm -mm. There we go. That's pretty. Now, it would be better if I'd have done this with an actual liner brush, but I think we're still, we're getting there. This is for the people who want to be a little bit more adventurous. You could have left that little pink liner off, um, and it would still be good. That with the Skin Show shade, and pop that on the brow bow just to give a little bit more. Um, you know, to add a little bit more to the look, complete it a little bit more. Now I do want to do some liner on this side. I'm going to use the Tarte Man Eater liner. This is a little travel size. Here we go. Very tiny wing. I just want to do a little, little line. And then the Stila Magnum XXL mascara which has quickly become a very much so favorite of mine okay that's pretty oh with the mascara on there it just really pulls it all together kick off this excess i don't see any fallout though guys so that's really good so i'll just finish up the face with you all really quickly all right, for highlight, I'm using this Hourglass Vanish Pink Flash Stick. I'm gonna take my sponge, press it on here. Just pat this onto my cheekbone. I think this is a very nice shade for this look because of all the pink. Man, that's stunning. Wow, okay, Hourglass. For blush, I'm using this NARS um, Liquid Blush. Dolce Vita. I just put a little on my hand and then swipe my brush into it. Get it on the brush and then press it. Do a pressing motion and then a sweep. All right, so you guys see the blush, the highlight, you guys see the eyes. Basically, you know, the eyes are done. So let me show you guys this one. Look down. Very pretty. Or this one, nice and blended. Got a little trichrome action going on there with the pop of the rose gold, like the VR Astral Pink Moon, whatever it is. Astral Pink Moon, yes. And then you've got some of that pink pop there. Everything blended so nicely. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom out um, for you and then we can look at the uh, new gloss that came out the divine rose um gloss so let's do that all right guys so um scarf is off 
makeup's done for the most part. Let's look at the gloss. I only got one. I only purchased one of the glosses. She had Peach Perversion, I think was the other shade. And then this one, Divine Rose. So here's the gloss. It looks like a beautiful pink shade. And just to show you guys what it looks like by itself, um, alone, no lip liner or anything like that, here it is. Okay. okay so that's what it looks like by itself it gives the lips at least my lips because everybody's lip color is different um just a nice subtle very subtle pink hue to the lips nothing too intense it's nice for every day very easy to wear and then the quality of these fantastic um so i like the gloss I like the gloss. I do wish it was a little bit more pigmented on my lips, but on somebody that has lighter lips than mine, um, lighter complexion than mine, I'm sure you will get more color intensity. So what I'm going to do to finish out this look is just layer this on top of a pink lipstick from Pat McGrath. So this lipstick is a matte trance lipstick. It's one I recently picked up from Bergdorf Goodman they were, when they were having that wholesale. Um, this is Candy Flip. All right, candy flip right here. Let me show you guys what a swatch of it looks like on my hand. That's it right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on the lips. You can see how pigmented it is. I'm gonna press, take some of it off to give more of that pink hue. I'm gonna do some lip liner, Club Hopper by NYX. Then the gloss. So those are the lips. I like them nice and pink and things like that. I think it goes really nicely with the eye look and the whole aesthetic of the Divine Rose too. So then my thoughts on the palette. Um, I like this palette, okay? I like it. I'm very happy that I picked it up. It is beautiful and I that trichrome shade is just very stunning. I like how, you know, for me I think that when it has that nice shift to that more of like a I don't want to forest kind of like a foresty green metallic, I just think that makes it a little bit more you know, kind of every day. I don't know, you know, because in some lights you'd be like, was that pink that I saw? Oh, is it green you know and green is more you know like natural tones i don't know that's just my thought behind it um but i like the the shimmer of that uh, astral moon shade the astral pink moon shade and how it just combines so nicely with the um vr extraterrestrial sextraterrestrial underneath it to give it that nice rose gold hue uh this look here just very pretty i think um, I, I don't know if there's ever a time when I do a Pat McGrath look that I'm ever like, oh, this is ugly. I just, it just always comes together. So I just have the palette, two thumbs up from me. All the shades blend out very nicely. Um, we did not get to use Divine Dusk. We didn't get to use Gold Lust, but we used every other shade in the palette today on my lid. I really like this palette, would recommend it. All right, so let's get into some swatches. So you guys, there is one shade that I, if you were interested in that VR Sexual Terrestrial, I was wondering if this um, multi-chrome that I have from Sydney Grace would kind of compare. And it's this shade here, this one, that pink. It has a green shift to it. I actually have like some footage on my Instagram of me wearing this one, I think. Let me just compare these swatches. So this is the Sydney Grace. Very nice and shiny. It's got that pink to it and then it does shift to a green. This is a Pat McGrath. They look very similar. And actually, Sydney Grace has a lot more shine to it um, because it's a different texture. It's definitely a different texture than the Pat McGrath. And the Pat McGrath is not as pink, I don't think. So here we have Sydney Grace and then Pat McGrath. Sydney Grace is a lot more pink, 
a lot more pink and then um like i would say even pinky purple and then pat mcgrath is a lot more rose but i think you get the similar feel if you go to this if you get the sydney Gr if you have that sydney grace twisted shifter if you have any questions definitely let me know um, i hope this video was helpful if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up i would greatly appreciate it thank you guys so much for watching thank you for all of the new subscribers i'm almost to a thousand subscribers despite the fact that I haven't been uploading. So I just appreciate you guys subscribing, even though I've been a little bit absent, but had some other things going on in my life. Um, and um, so, yeah, thank you guys so much for the support. And definitely leave your comments in the comment section below. Once again, if you're not following me on Instagram, definitely check me out. I will leave the link for it in the description box. Um, I have more, you know, looks and things like that that I upload on Instagram can stay in touch a little bit easier <laughs> there so um thank you guys once again for watching this video and i will be talking to you guys very very soon see ya